Buenas noches. Good evening. Buenas noches. Good evening. Ay, mire qué clarito se ve ahora, ve. <ríe> Saben que compré un bombillo, no sé si han visto unos cholos así. Súper yes. grandote. Ajá. Es que el que estaba, el, yes. la, la habitación donde estamos es bien grande. Entonces, no al, el que estaba no alcanza a, a, como a iluminar todo, ¿verdad? Y ahora siento que hasta choco quedó y enfrente lo tengo. Ajá. Sí, pero sí, se ve más clarito. Por el ¿verdad? color de la, sí, del, de la pared, por eso quizás no lo iluminaba. Ajá, sí, y este, era como que en el, um, en el background, eh, la, la que elegía, como que se, no sé, quizás el color la absorbía, el, el, el background, y ahora se ve bien clarito, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ok, chévere. Vale, ando un poquito fónico. Ahora quiero que ustedes hablen, ¿ok? Ya les expliqué el going to, toda la estructura, así que solo voy a hacer el papel, el papel real de un docente. ¿Saben cuál es el papel real de un docente? No. Solo escuchar. Solo instruir y guiar. Ese es el papel real de un docente. Ay. ¿Sí? Corregir. Así que ahora vamos a hacer el papel real de un docente. Ok. Um, today, we are going to start with a new topic. By the way, I'm going to send you the screenshots related to uh, going to, for you to have it handy. Ok. Some of you were asking yesterday uh, for that slide, and I'm going to share with you affirmative negative, and also a short answer. Just give me one minute. I'm going to send you a picture, by the way, to the WhatsApp group. Remember, if you are having like issues with the internet connection, let me know, okay? And if you need to restart the computer, go ahead and do it as well. Always let me know what you are going to do. Is that, is that okay? Is that clear? Yes? Yes, it's clear. Awesome. Awesome. Now, uh, I'm going to send you the screenshot right now to the WhatsApp group. You will be able to see it right there for you to have it handy. That, that was basically the topic that we have been practicing since Monday, all right? So, actually, mm -hmm. On Monday, we studied the use of a month and dates. And then yesterday, we studied the use of going to. I am going to send you. I want you to ask to your classmates, OK? Once you can see them, just let me know. There are 15 questions uh with which we are going to start today and i want you to select your classmates in order to talk about those personal information questions remember that you can also um create your own sentences okay these are just examples that you can use during the conversation but you can be creative and you can invent your own information if you wish. Um, let me just read some uh, details here. I have J.R. Josué, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, Jose Ruben says, teacher, sigo mi trabajo. Estaré de oyente. Okay, good. Remember that if you can turn your cameras on, that will be great. Okay, si pueden encender su cámara, háganlo. Ok, es uno de los requisitos. Tengo a Karen, tengo a Tiffany, Erika, Leticia, Josué, Claudia, en Griselda con su cámara apagada. Eh, si están teniendo algún inconveniente, pues lo háganmelo saber y yo voy a estar sabedor de ello. Um, let's see. 
Well, keep in mind that if you want to participate and you want to provide your opinion or ask questions about something, just uh, let me know, okay? Raise your hand in order to have a, an order in the class. There you have a list of questions. Okay, let me read. Alexandra dice, estoy conectada desde la computadora y en el teléfono es, trabajo mucho y el micrófono. Okay, good. Okay, Jenny says uh, that the electricity went off. Alrighty, now I sent you the list of questions to the Zoom chat. Can you see them right there? There are like 15 questions. I'm going to start with Nelson. Nelson, select one of your classmates. Ask a question, please. Thank you, sir. Permítame, solo abro la imagen. It's all right. Remember okay. that today you are going to be the only ones talking, okay? I would like to talk the less as I can. All right, go ahead. Es que no tengo a WhatsApp. Ay, no lo puedo abrir. No, I send it. I send it to the eh, Zoom. Zoom chat. Sí, sí ahorita. Eh, okay. Escojo a Verosli. Okay. Uh, select the question number one. And you are going to select. Who do you say it? I'm sorry. Eh, Verosli. Okay. Verosli. Ready? Question number. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, she's ready. Go ahead. Okay, let's start. Question number one. Oh, what are you going? Un momento, un momento. Solo necesito ver el chat. Okay. Donde me compartió. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Ya lo veo, ya lo veo. Ahí está. Ya. Okay. Let's start. Number one. What are you going? to do after class? Uh, I am going to... <laughs> what, what are you... I, I didn't listen. I mean, I couldn't listen to you. I didn't listen to what you said. Uh -oh. oh, okay. Me, me escuchan ahora? Yes, yes, we can hear you now. What are you going to do oh, after okay. class? That's the question. Uh, I'm, I am going to my bed. I'm going to sleep. You can say that. Okay. Sleep. Thank you. Uh, Berosli, uh, continue with the question number two and select one of your classmates. Thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, um, select, select one who has not talked, who has not participated. Escojan los que no participan, los que no quieren participar. Ok. 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 <risa> ok, ok. okay. Uh, permítame, solo quiero que aquí ya... Uh, a ver, cerrar. Los participantes. Uh -huh. um, aquí está. Aquí están. Entonces sería Amalia Beatriz Tobar de Pérez. Ok, go ahead. Ok. Moment, please. Aquí. Ok, tengo que ir al chat. Sería, what are you going to tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow? Hola, Beatriz. Hola. Beatriz, are you here? No. Okay, select somebody else. Uh, no. Another person, oh. yes. What? Hello, ¿me escuchas? Hola, hola, hello, hello. Hello, sí. Hola, hola. Eh, le, hola. Le voy a repetir la. Hola, ¿me escucha? Hola, sí. Sí, vaya, le voy a repetir la pregunta. What okay. are you going to do? What are you going to do tomorrow? Ok. What uh, I going to do tomorrow in the supermarket? 
Okay, I'm going to go to the you. supermarket. Okay. Yes. Okay, Beatriz, uh, continue with the question number three and select one of your classmates. Uh, Gabriel? Gabriel? Tell me. Uh, Gabriel, a question. What country are you going to visit within two years? Repeat, please. What country? No, the question number three. What ah, are you okay. going to do ah, on weekends? Okay. Oh, what are you going to do on weekends? I'm going. What? I'm going to to go to the job and and the the next. Uh, time uh, or the Sunday I I go to the church okay Gabriel okay. question number four select one of your classmates okay Astrid Gabriela what are you going to do on vacation I'm going to visit Mexico in vacation Okay. Okay. Uh, Leticia, select the question number five and ask the question to one of your classmates. Leticia? Okay, sí, aquí estoy. Uh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia eh, which? Uh, which, that's the, that's the pronunciation. Which are your plans within five years? Okay. Which are your plans within five years? Esa es la que le voy a preguntar a alguien, ¿verdad? Select one of your classmates. Um, Miriam Darlene. Miriam. Sí. Eh, le voy a repetir la pregunta. Uh, which are your plans uh, within five years? I am going to buy my house. Okay, question number six, Miriam, select one of your classmates. Miriam, continue with the next question. Ahorita elijo el participante, permito. Okay. Elisa María. Elisa María, where are you going to go on your next vacation? Hola. Elisa, what are you going to what are you going to do on vacations? No, it says where are you going to go on your next vacation? Elisa? <clears throat> Okay, select another person, Miriam. Okay. Griselda Mejia. Griselda, where are you going to go on your next vacation?
Uh, yes, I am going. I am going to go in the beach and vacation. Okay, Griselda. The next question and select one of your classmates. Hagámoslo rapidito, chicos. Eh, la, las preguntas no las tienen que formular. Ya están escritas. Solo es de leerlas, seleccionar un alumno, un compañero, preguntarla y responder. Okay, let's do it. Griselda, go ahead, please. Next question. Thank you. Eh, Yesenia Guadalupe Flores. Which are your plans with five years? Are you sure that's the next question? The next question says, what time are you going to wake up tomorrow? Question number seven. Okay. What time are you going to wake up tomorrow? What time are you going to wake up tomorrow? At seven o'clock in the morning. I'm going to wake up at seven o'clock in the morning. Complete sentences. Okay, Yesenia, select that question number eight. I'm sorry, go ahead, repeat it. I'm going to. I'm going to. Uh huh. I'm going to. Wake up. At. Wake up. At 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. At 7 a.m. tomorrow. Okay. Question number eight. Select one of your classmates. <clears throat> Two more questions and that no. will be it. No puedo ver, teacher, las, las preguntas. It's okay. Thank you. Liliana, question number eight. Select one of your classmates. Okay. Ay. Did Gabriel? Sí. Wait. And who are you going to visit on weekend? Wait. Repeat, please. Okay, I'm going to visit my family on weekend. Okay, Astrid, select one of your one of your classmates. Question number nine. Eh, solo que no puedo ver las preguntas, teacher. Ah, okay. Hola. Nelson, question number nine. Select one of your classmates. Okay, Milena de Los Angeles. What activities are you going to do? On the weekends. Milena. Okay, select another person. Okay. Carlos Enrique. Chicos, después dicen que no los hago participar. Okay. Estamos, Eric, eh, necesito que se concentren. Erika Noemí. Nadie contesta. Eh, Repita la pregunta, por favor. Ok. What activities are you going to do on weekends? Oh, I, I am... With I am playing, cooking, and no sé cómo se dice compartir and with share. my and share with my family. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank uh, you. Okay. Number ten, verdad? Yes. What count? Ah, uh, quiero ver. No los puedo ver. Sería para Elisa María. Ok, ahora sí puedo. Es que okay. anteriormente 
me había quedado en la imagen. Ok. Where are sí. you going to study the next year? Eh, ¿Qué número es la pregunta? Disculpe. Ten. Diez. Diez. ¿Dónde vas a estudiar? Yeah. No sé cómo formular la, re la respuesta. Tengo que decir, I'm going. I'm going to. Uh -huh. I'm going to. Voy a. I'm going to the pedagógica. No sé si se pronuncia así, pedagógica. I'm going to, to study, go study in, go in university, university. Ped pedagógica. No sé, así va I'm going to study at Pedagogica I, University. Pedagogica University. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you guys Thank for you your participation. Me. I really like it. And now we are going to continue with the class. Thank you. Just give me one minute. Hey, quiero ver. Con la once sería, ¿verdad? Okay, you, you can select the, uh, the question 11. 11 and ask one of your classmates. Um, no sé qué no participa. Amalia Beatriz. Okay. La once. Eh, what country are you going to? To visit, no sé si me corrige ahí, visit, visitante, ¿verdad? Visitarás. Ajá. Uh -huh. What country are you going to um, visit? Visit, eh, la siguiente, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Ahí me disculpa. Este, weekly, no sé, eh, two years. Within, creo que es. Within, ajá, within two years. <coughs> okay. okay. I'm going to visit El going to years in Guatemala. I'm going to visit Guatemala within two years. Within two years. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay, Okay, thank you guys for your participation. Uh, hey. Gracias por la participación. I'm going to share my computer screen and we're going to continue with the class. Thank you for participating. Um, once you can see my computer screen, just let me know, please. Okay. I think it's loading. Can you see it or not yet? Not, not yet. yet. Not, not yet. yet. No. Okay. I think it's loading. We can see it. Uh, we're going to move to, let's see. Okay, we're going to. chair, your microphone is mute. Okay. Uh, the next activity is going to be read by Alexandra. Alexandra, can you see it? 
Yes. Thank you. Okay. Um, by the end of this class, you will will develop skills in scanning and reading for details by reading by reading an article about birthday celebrations in different countries birthdays okay i'm so sorry let's see let me uh move to the next slide and i'm going to read that one it says the future will be going to in conversation happy birthday um, 1.3, that's the future with be going to in conversation, happy birthday. Let's wait a little bit. Once you can listen to the conversation, just let me know. Or not yet. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to ask and answer yes or no questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about birthday plans, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Happy Birthday. Let's listen and practice. Happy Birthday. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous! When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice! Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Now let's analyze the examples from the chart. The future with be going to. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Yes, she is. She's going to invite all my friends. No, she isn't. She's going to take me out for dinner. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They're going to sing happy birthday. No, they aren't. But they're going to give me a cake. We use be going to to talk about future events. Let's learn to form statements using be going to to talk about future events. We can follow this formula to express the future be going to. Subject plus verb to be plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples from the chart. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. These examples are contracted, by the way. In order to illustrate these examples, I will do it without contractions. I is the subject. Next, we have the verb to be. M. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb celebrate. Finally, we add my birthday. Let's analyze one more example. She's going to invite all my friends. The subject is she. Next, we have the verb to be is after that we need to include the auxiliary going to then we put the verb invite finally we add a complement 
all my friends. Let me show you how to form yes or no questions with be going to. To do that, we're going to follow this formula. Verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus the verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Are you going to do anything this weekend? The verb to be is are. Next, we have the subject, you. After that, we need to include the auxiliary, going to. Then we put the verb, do. Finally, we add a complement. Anything this weekend. And we put a question mark at the end. These are yes or no questions. So to answer them, it's quite simple. Just like you see on the examples towards the right hand side of the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Our next example. I'll choose the last question on the chart. Are the waiters going to sing to you? The verb to be is are. The subject is the waiters. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb sing. Finally, we add a complement to you and a question mark at the end. Now it's your turn to practice making statements and yes or no questions using be going to. Think about your plans for the weekend and write them down. Do as many examples as you can. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Thank you. Now, if you realized, that's basically the same information that we have been discussing in the class, okay, during our lesson. And let's just uh, double check our knowledge related to going to. Okay, it says instructions, listen to the interview. What are these people going to do? Instructions. Okay. Um, let's see. I think it's loading. And once we uh, are able to listen to that conversation, let's answer those four questions. The number one, Michelle is going to, and then we're going to complete it. Number two, Kevin is going to, you have four options. Number three, Robert is going to, and there you had the, the four options as well. Um, the number four, it, it says Jane is going to, and you also have four options. Go dancing, see a movie, go to a party, and listen to music. Now, um, let's play the audio. Can you listen to me? Yes, teacher, okay. I have a question. Yeah. O sea que si nos, si vamos a responder como las tareas, digamos, eh, así en el grupo. I'm sorry. Es, o sea, como eso es una, es una de las tareas de la, que nos, de la plataforma, mm -hmm. que tenemos que trabajar en la plataforma. Exactly. Entonces, si la vamos a responder así en grupo o siempre sería como individual. Um, this is this is just for you to get an idea. Este es para que eh, tomen una, una idea. Lo van a hacer individual ah, okay. ustedes. Ah, ok. Ahorita lo estamos practicando en grupo. Okay. Pero Perfect. en su casa ustedes lo van a completar porque recuerden que cada quien tiene que completar su plataforma individual. Al final okay. del curso todos tienen que tener la completa. Si usted puede avanzar, dele. Ok. Ok. All right. So let's listen to it.
Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? It's Michelle. I bet you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. And what's your name? Kevin. Are you going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to go to the video game arcade. Oh, so you're going to play video games. Yeah, I am. Can I ask your name? Yes, my name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. And what's your name? I'm Jane. Do you have any plans for this evening? I just bought some new CDs, so I'm going to listen to music tonight. What kind of music is it? Jazz. I always listen to jazz. Great. Now, what is Michelle going to do? Meet a friend. Meet a friend. Okay. Michelle She's... is going to meet a friend. Excellent. Thank you. Complete, complete answer, right? So, she is going to meet a friend. All right. At the park. Thank you. Number two, what is Kevin going to do? Play video games. Okay, Kevin is going to play video games. Number three, what is Robert going to do? Robert is going to work at home. Work at home. Work at home. Going to work at home. Okay, one by one. Nelson, what is Robert going to do? Robert is going to work at home. Thank you. Okay, next. Let me select some of you. Jane is going to listen to music. Listen to music. Okay, Jane is going to listen to music. Thank you for your participation. Okay, now let's double check. The, those were your answers. And see, awesome, you got 10. Great. Now, let's move to the next one. It says, I'm going to read it. By the end of the class, you will learn how to sound natural when talking about future plans by reducing going to. Let's move to the next one. Pronunciation, reduction of going to. Once you are able to listen to it, just let me know. I think it's loading. Take notes if you wish. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to sound natural when talking about future plans by reducing be going to. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of going to. Reduction of going to. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. When spoken, going to is usually going to sound as gonna. Let's analyze the examples one more time. Are you gonna have a party? No, I'm gonna go out with a friend. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. As I mentioned in a previous class in which I talked about pronunciation, Pronunciation is one of the most difficult to learn in English. And this is because there are many exceptions to rules that we may mention. 
The best way to learn pronunciation is by listening carefully and repeating. Today's topic is quite universal, and if you watch your favorite TV program in English, you'll hear gonna instead of going to. So I would like for you to do just that. Watch your favorite TV program in English and pay attention to how going to is pronounced. Thank you. Let's move forward. Let's move forward the next activity or objective. It says, by the end of this class, you will be able to talk about holidays in the USA. That's basically uh, the main topic for today's lesson. However, since uh, yesterday you were not able to get the information related to going to, and I was giving you some examples, we couldn't uh, take advantage. I mean, we couldn't advance with uh, a online platform. That's the reason why we are uh, trying to complete it today. So I'm going to give you some examples and then you will be able to practice those examples as well. It says vocabulary holidays in the USA. Once you can see it, just let me know. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn vocabulary related to holidays in the US. Let's get started by learning the holidays that you see on this chart. Holidays in the US. New Year's Day, January 1st. Valentine's Day, February 14th. Independence Day, July 4th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving, fourth Thursday in November. Christmas, December 25th. Now, I would like for you to use the vocabulary to talk about your plans for this coming holidays. For example, Valentine's Day is going to be on February 14. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. Write similar sentences as this one. The goal is to use the vocabulary and going to. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Now, since you have watched some videos related to some holidays in the United States, I'm going to show you a PowerPoint presentation for you to be able to practice or participate. Can you see that PowerPoint presentation or not yet? Yes, I can see. Okay, great, beautiful. See. Awesome, thank you. There you have some uh, federal holidays in the United States. By the way, yesterday, was Independence Day in the United States. Um, my wife and I didn't work because, I mean, we took that day as a celebration from the USA. So we didn't work yesterday. <clears throat> there you have, if you see here, there you have the dates. Let me go ahead and share them. Yesterday. Okay. Just let's see. Uh, uh, they celebrate Independence Day. Yes. Yesterday, Independence Day is celebrated in the United States. Yes, that's the reason why I said that we didn't work yesterday. Um, 
No. And then going to Ju July 4th. Okay. Thank you. Now, if you see the first um, holiday in the United States is January 1st, 2023. Okay. What is celebrated in the United States that date? What is the holiday? New Year's Day. Okay. And that was on Sunday. This is the most updated information that I have from 2023. Okay, let me select some of you uh, since you want to participate, by the way. Uh, Amalia, what is celebrated on January 2nd in the United States, 2023? What was celebrated? January, January, January 2, 2023, New Year's yes. Day, New Year's Day. Uh, Monday. That was on Monday. Monday. Yes. Thank you. Alexandra, January 16th, what's celebrated in the United States? Actually, yeah. the, the holiday has already gone. Okay. 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 In January 16th, is, is celebrating Martin Luther King Day. Okay. On Monday. That was on Monday. Yes. Uh, Areli or Areli, uh, what was celebrated in February 20th, 2023? Uh, President Day. The, okay, and that was which day? Monday. Monday. Yes. Astrid, what was celebrated on May 29th? Um, Memorial Day. It's okay. Carlos, what was celebrated on February on May 29th? What is the holiday in the USA? Carlos? Okay, Claudia. Yes. What was celebrated on May 29th, 2023? What is the holiday? Okay, Nelson. Teacher. What is celebrated on May twenty ninth? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ready, please. What is celebrated on May twenty ninth? Uh, to celebrate Memorial Day on Monday. Thank you. Teacher, uh -huh. ¿y qué es Unity? I'm sorry? ¿Qué es Unity? ¿Qué celebran en June? Unity, ¿qué es eso? ¿Qué es esa celebración? Juneteenth. Uh -huh. Oh, we're going to find it out later on. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, but Osley, continue with July 4th. Um, in July 4, 2023, celebrated Independence Day. That, on that was Thursday. Okay. On Tuesday. That was yesterday. Uh, continue, Alexandra. Uh huh. What is celebrated on September fourth? September fourth is celebrated the Labor Day on Monday. Okay, thank you. 
Um, continue, Roberto. Elisa. Uh -huh. Perdón, tengo problemas con la pantalla. No puedo ver, solo escuchar. Ok, Edwin. Edwin, can you hear? Erika. Me tocó desconectarme porque perdí la conexión. ¿Puedes repetir, por favor? Yes. What is celebrated on uh, October 9th? Mm. Erika, what is celebrated on sec October 9th? Okay. Erika, can you hear? No, no sé. <laughs> no sé. Y no, no puedo ver la pantalla. Ah, uh, ok. Ajá, dice Day on Monday. Ok, October 9th, Columbus Day. That was on Monday. Um, somebody asked the question about Juneteenth holiday. This is uh, the slaver, a slaver holiday. Do you know what the meaning of a slaver is? Día de la esclavización. Celebran la liberación de esclavos en ese día. Um, Juneteenth. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, November 10th, 2023, that's the Veterans Day on Friday. That's going to be on Friday. November 11th, that's also Veterans Day. Saturday. Saturday. November 23rd, 2023. Thanksgiving Day. Thanksgiving Day on Thursday. And Dece December 25th, 2023. It's, it's going to be Christmas Day. Christmas Day. Day. Christmas Day. Oh, okay. Uh, Nelson, ask a question. Select one of your classmates and okay. ask a question to, to them. And the question is going to be, what are you going to do on... A New Year's Day, what are you going to do on Independence Day? What are you going to do? What are you going to do on Mother's Day, on Valentine's Day? Okay, is that clear? Okay, voy a elaborar una pregunta utilizando, hacia, ocupando alguna fecha importante, ¿verdad? Okay. Escojo entonces a. Permítame. Vamos a ver. Ah, Elisa, Elisa María. Ok, remember that those can be holidays in the United States or from El Salvador. Valentine's Day, Mother's okay. Day, Father's Day, Teacher's Day, etc. Ok, I. Pero, was, ¿verdad? Was celebrated. No. What are you going to do? Podría escribir la, la, la pregunta para redactarla. Podría sure. Teacher, teacher, I have yes. a question. Okay. What are you going? What are you going to do? On, on, ¿verdad, teacher? On yes. Independence Day, on mm -hmm. the New Year's Day. Así ve. Okay, that is right. Okay. Okay, Elisa, ready? Select another person, please. Griselda, Griselda Mejía. 
Yes. What are you going to do on New Year's Day? New Year's Day. New Year's Day. I'm going to January 1, 2023. No, what are you going to do? Is, ¿Qué vas a hacer ese día? Formulo yo la pregunta. I am going to do... What are you going to do on New Year's Day? ¿Qué vas a hacer el día de año nuevo? I am going to visit my family. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Miriam. Select one of your classmates. What are you going to do and then the holiday? It can be from El Salvador, from the USA. Okay. Verosely. Um, are you going to do on um, day mother? Mother Day? Oh, okay. I'm going to do celebrate my mom. I'm going to celebrate with my mom. Okay. With my mom. Let's see. The last question. Uh, Yesenia, select one of your classmates. Jenny, select one question. <coughs> okay. Vaya. Se supone que tengo 25 alumnos conectados y solo los mismos participan. No sé si es que todos tienen problema con la conexión o tienen can pena I, participar. Can I ask someone? Yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, Gabriel Isaac, what are you what are you going to do on Valentine's Day? I'm going to celebrate in Valentine's Day with my wife. Thank you. Now, before letting you go, it says, by the end of this class, you will be able to ask in a, and answer WH question you seem to be going to. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay, just let's listen to the conversation and then you are free to go. It's okay. Yo no puedo ver nada, no sé si solo es mi internet. No, no. yo tampoco. No, no veo nada. La pantalla. la pantalla no, me, no veo nada. Yo veo la imagen de los de los holidays.
sé okay. qué pasa, compañero, pero no se ve nada ni se oye, no escucha nada. Let me try one more time. Which questions using be going to? Hi, hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. In this, hi everyone. Hi, hi everyone. In this class, you learn. Hi everyone. Hi, hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hi, hi everyone. Se trabó, teacher. Solo dice hi everyone. Sí. Mhm. Es la plataforma. Miren, se quedó trabado. Sure. Bueno, ese es el, 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 era el último tema del de, eh, día de ahora. Vamos a verlo más a fondo porque no tenemos, perdón, no tenemos mucho tiempo. Mañana les voy a traer sure. algunos ejemplos. Eh, ¿Verdad que hasta ahora tenemos eh, para no completar las dos secciones de las dos secciones de la plataforma? Ahora es la última noche para completarlas. Se supone que eh, tienen hasta jueves. Mañana, creo. Ah, okay. Si no me equivoco. Sería sección 1 y 2. Sección 1 y 2, correcto. Vaya. Mañana les voy a traer otros ejemplos para que podamos, eh, para que puedan tener claros con eh, el just no question, ok, y el information questions or WH words. Antes de dejarlos ir, ¿alguna otra pregunta que tengan? Teacher, I had a question. Ok, Brosley. Uh, lo de la lista no, no procede. Consulté y dijeron que no porque Zoom eh, lo genera automáticamente. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. ¿Otra pregunta? Eh, coach. Uh -huh. Solo que en el grupo habían anunciado que por el asueto nacional no tendríamos clases jueves y viernes, ¿verdad? En serio. Así anunciaron. Sería hasta el lunes. No, decía ahí no, que solo, solo jueves, viernes, solo, solo viernes 7. Solamente viernes. Viernes 7. Pero bueno. como no recibimos clases el viernes. Pero viernes no recibimos clases. Exacto, entonces Ajá. no cuenta. Hasta el lunes. Yeah. Sería hasta el lunes. O sea, de lunes a jueves son las clases. O sea, Ajá. viernes es libre. Viernes no cuenta. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, la última pregunta. No. Ok, si no hay más preguntas, ha sido un placer estar con ustedes. Eh, si no hace nada, buen provecho. And see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night. See you tomorrow, everybody. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm going to say that. La persona ya.